Hi, yes, um, I need to make an appointment. I need to come in for an abortion. Yes. My name is Candace. Wait, wh what? A raise? $80,000 a year? You serious? Yo, Mr. Davis, thank you. Thank you so much for this opportunity. No, no, for real, thank you. I promise I will not let you down. All right, all right, thank you. All right, you too. Bye. Yes. Are y'all being safe, or are y'all being sorry? Man, you know we got people on the tower keeping watch. And yo, okay. these perks, Addies, and Oxys, yo, they flying like Red Tops and 88. Mm. Nigga, please, you know ain't nothing flying like Red Tops and 88. Y'all must be throwing your own product back and saying some dumb-ish like that. Dumb-ish? Man, don't tell me Candace got you on some quiet, boy. Oh, you know what I mean? Watching your wordplay. Ooh. Acting all white. It's called being that skin. Keeping yeah. you from cursing. I'm a Christian. Right? <laughs> all dressed up for work. I have to go on this part of the protocol. Man, that Punani must got that black girl magic in it. Mm-hmm. Probably got a dead phone. Man, what y'all making it off? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Look, 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 look. She is bad, though. I mean, don't get me wrong. But y'all need to stop talking about my queen like that. Or I'm dropping all of y'all from the bachelor party. Especially you, best man. Unreal. Yo, you know good and damn well you ain't gonna do that. Yeah, you right. Thank you. Word, <laughs> Cause you know I'm gonna have your bachelor party jumping like Charlie's Angels used to. Blah. Why are you lying here? <laughs> it's alright though, it's alright. You can have it. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Yo, I'm gonna get out of here. All right, man. Go back to my girl. I'm gonna catch y'all later, all right? All right. Keep doing, y'all. All right, Kev. I can see the thong showing from here. Man, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. Where you at? I'm in the living room. Hey, babe. You will never, ever guess what happened to me at work today. So, as soon as I walk in the building, my boss pulls me to his office, right? Man, man. And we start. You love me? <laughs> Do I love you? Do, Do you I... really love me? Babe, of course I love you. I'm about to walk down the aisle in six months. And after that, you're going to make me the happiest brother on the bricks. So of course I love you. What's got you thinking otherwise? Because you're still cheating on me, Ken, and that's why. What? Cheating on you? Candace, what are you talking about? I haven't cheated on you since that time I told you I did. Like two years ago, back when I was acting foolish and running around, and too afraid to commit to you. But I told you about everything that night. And since then, I've been nothing but faithful to you. So what's got your mind changed? What's going on? I'll show you. Come with me. You're not cheating on me. What are you talking You're not about? cheating on me? What are you talking about? What are these? Yo, babe, I've been looking for these. I haven't seen these shorts in like three months. Yeah, I bet. Because you were sleeping with some thought in these same shorts three months ago, Candace. Candace, what the? Candace, baby, love of my life. What the hell are you talking about? What am I talking about, Cannon? Even after you promised me you would not cheat on me again, and even after we made up and I forgave you and said I would walk down the aisle with you and marry you, you still out here sleeping with God knows how many sluts in these same shorts. Don't look at me like a deaf, dumb mute. You know what I'm talking about, Candace. How could you sleep with another bitch behind my back? Candace. You still don't trust me. After all I've done thus far to prove to you that I 
am undoubtedly in love with you and only you. You are still holding me accountable for something I did over two years ago. I'm sorry, but what's got you thinking that? <sighs> what got me thinking this? Did you smell these shorts? Smell them! Still got that bitch's scent all over them! This is not funny, Cannon. Don't play dumb with me. Stop <laughs> laughing at me. You know what I'm talking about. How could you sleep I'm with sorry. another bitch behind my back? Man, the only bitch I've been sleeping with is you. What? What did you call me? Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean to call you a bitch. But, babe, I wore those shorts for like two days straight after our last blowout we had in July. Remember, when you accused me even then of cheating on you. Yo, I laid in those shorts, and then you told me to take the garbage out, and I went out, and then right after that, we went to Walmart, and in the store, you said that I smelled just like sex, and then I said, our sex life is in these shorts. Exactly. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, babe, what's wrong? You okay? Are you alright? What's going on? You good? Maybe I messed up. I messed up. Aw, oh, baby, come on. That's, that's nothing. That's just a simple mistake. I mean, listen, I probably would have done the exact same thing if the shoe was on the other foot. No, baby, no. I cheated on you. What? You what? You you you, you cheated on me? You, yo, who the fuck did you cheat on me with, Candace? I just messed up. I'm so sorry, Ken. I swear to God, I didn't mean it. It's just that when I smelt them damn shorts, the past had me confused, and I just thought if you cheated on me once, I know your ass would do it again, and I just snapped. I'm sorry. You still didn't answer the question. Who the hell did you cheat on me with? It was with Brian. 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 The same Brian that cheated on you and got some other girl pregnant, Brian? The same Brian that you cried and complained to me about, Brian? Yes! Yes, it was with him! Baby, I'm sorry. Alright. Alright. Alright, alright. Okay. I mean, uh, it's only fair. I mean, I guess I cheated on you. I mean, then you cheated on me. Did you make him wear a condom, Candace? Yes, but... Uh, but, but... But what, Candace? Listen. Listen. You made him wear a condom. Then, in time, I guess we can get through this. I mean, I've done some things. You've done some things. Let's not... Let's just not let the past ruin what we have built thus far. I mean, our mistakes will probably be for our good. Baby, love won't matter. After I tell you the rest. The rest? I'm pregnant. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> and there's a possibility that the baby is Brian's. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. Candace. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. I thought you said you guys wore a condom. We did, I did. That's what I was trying to say. The condom broke. But look, baby, I made an, an appointment at Planned Parenthood, and I'm getting an abortion tomorrow. And after the procedure, you can decide whether or not you're going to stay with me or just end it all. <laughs> and I understand whatever you decide. Candace, this, this, this is too much. No, baby, please. Can it please wait? Wait. Yo, that's unbelievable, yo. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs>
Come on, man. I'm trying to give you a shake up, man. You keep fucking moving. Bro. Oh, my bad. Yo, B. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do, bro. Like, on one hand, I want to play Nino and cancel that bitch. I, but she's not a bitch. And to be honest, man, I don't want to know what my life would be like without her, you know? Well, only you can decide to what you're going to tolerate, family. And look at it this way. It's a possibility that kid may be yours. Mm. So you going to allow her to abort your son or daughter that may be your future dream child just because she got caught up? Damn, bro. I, I didn't even think of it like that. I mean, I, you know, at the moment, I was just so pissed that she got back with her bum-ass ex. Yo, plus, the way they make in these condoms nowadays with that monocillin non-shit, and the way you talking about you want to shoot up the club, you want to have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, hold up, yo. Well, don't get the top part of my mustache, man. So I had that Burt Reynolds, like, I don't want my shit all skinny and shit. I need that Tom Selleck. All right, man. All right. Come on, son. God wouldn't do that to y'all. <laughs> yeah, man. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Wait, B, he, you? Talking about God? I ain't no fool. I'm a child of melanin, you dig? Yeah, man, yeah, true cool. indeed. True indeed. You right, you right. Hey, yo, you know what? What's up? Get this shit, and I'm gonna take you home so y'all two can get it together. Know what I mean? Then after that, uh, yo, I'm gonna throw you the bachelor party of the century. Oh, my God, yo. B, you been talking about this for the past three weeks, and I ain't seen no plans yet. Yo, you gonna see, son. All Going right. down, yo. Oh, wait, first I hit this, like, yo, did you lace this or anything? Like, I mean, nah, you know, man. I got drug tests or something, you know, I got a new job. All right, well, you might as well give me that back, man. Wow. All right, All right, man. Man. All yo, right. uh, and B, when you done anything you can line me up to? Like, a little bit? Off the top? For what? I mean, I got little hairs. Can you, can you get those? Bro, like, you, loose. You have nothing on your head. I'll get you some baby oil so you can rub that big ass. Oh, okay. All right, well. <laughs> get the cutting, Buster Rhymes. I'll see you, man. <laughs> Be like, wow, what's that? Wow. Fuck it, you got jokes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. You know, it's all love, baby. It's all love. Oh, I'm sorry for walking out on you the way I did. <clears throat> but I I just really needed to get some air. I understand, baby. I put way too much on you all at once. I'm just happy you came back and you're okay. Candace, babe, uh, I'm sorry. Um, had I never cheated on you in the first place, then we wouldn't be we wouldn't be in this position right now. But, baby, I still want to get married. You do? Are you sure? I have never been more sure in my life. Plus, before you had told me everything, I got a raise today at work. Really? Yeah, I'm going to be making $80,000 a year for no my way. new security job. Babe, yeah. are you serious? That's good news. Yeah. Baby, I'm so proud of you. Thanks, baby. You worked so hard for this. Mm -hmm. You stayed diligent. You stayed out the streets. And you just stayed consistent and worked hard for your dreams. You finally became the man you always wanted to be. I'm Thanks, so baby. Thank you. So... Would you still do me the honor on becoming my wife? Of no course. No matter what? Of course, baby. As long as you take me with no backlash, no regrets, ever. As long as you still love me the same for the rest of our lives. Of course, baby.
baby. You are the love of my life for the rest of my life. But I can't risk the possibility of our son or our daughter being Brian's child. I'm on my way to Planned Parenthood to finish what's already in my heart. I love you. Your bride-to-be, Candace. Oh, no, 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 no. Baby, I know I couldn't do this. Glad you came. Mm. I'm so glad you came. Glad I came too. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. You still want to do this by yourself. Well, it's official. So, what are we gonna name this baby? Well, you can name it whatever you want to name it. As long as it's not Brian. Oh my God, no, of course not. All right, we got that settled. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. So, you ready to be a mom? You ready to be a baby daddy? Baby daddy? It should be like, I'm the daddy. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure if I'm for you. Wait. This is it. This is the end of the road. No turning back. I know. Whoever said that you couldn't fall in love from a curious one night stand must have never known what love was at all. What started off as a meaningless yet downright pleasurable kiss to my surprise continued into a year full of undeniable lustful moments of chaos. You know, they say a marriage is over when people start recklessly lying just to cover their tracks. What's what the hell are you talking about now? I'm talking about you being at this hotel for over four hours now, forgetting that your two-year-old son had a doctor's appointment where he was screaming and hollering for his mother. And his mother was out doing God only knows what at a time when he needed her the most. Forget it. Forget it. All right? Just apologize to your son. And you just be glad that I don't come up there and blaze the place. You know what? 
we deserve better than this. So you just finish whatever it is that you're doing, finding yourself or whatever with this little sexual predator. And I'll see you at home. You all right? You good? What the hell am I doing here? <laughs> I'm ruining my son's life. He had to go to the doctor today because he had an ear infection. I should have been there with him. I should have been there making sure his ear infection was just an ear infection. Instead of being... Instead of being <laughs> what, Asha? Here with me? Touching? Kissing? Tasting? Instead of living? You gonna throw all that away for a simple phone call. Are you kidding me? No, phone, no. JC is more than that. I've never let my husband or my son down until tonight. Don't get me wrong, I've been very discreet about everything that's been going on between us over this past year. And I don't know, it's just getting to me. I just can't keep neglecting them. Now look, you have just become a very expensive habit that I can no longer afford. And I, I just can't keep neglecting them. I can't do this anymore. And so what you gonna do? You gonna go back and run and be their slave? Cause you and I both know, as soon as you hang up that phone, all he's trying to do is make you feel guilty instead of listening to your heart. Oh, honey, can you make me some dinner? Honey, can you iron my clothes before I go to work? Baby, can you dress Junior? I gotta go to work. Baby, can you give me some head? You wanna have sex for 10 minutes so I can roll over and go to sleep while you still sitting here unsatisfied, reaching for your toy? Come on now. <laughs> wow, amen to that, I guess. Look, just because I let you in on what goes on in my home life and my professional life, that don't give you the right to throw it back in my face. Okay. <sighs> and I admit that that was a low blow. But don't get mad at me for knowing what I want. All I'm trying to do is get you to see the same thing. <laughs> you know what? shower if you need me. If you want to join me, you can. If not, you know where to find me. You know what, Aja, I was thinking. Dang. Very sense. I, I just don't want to lose you. I, I've tried everything in my power to allow you to figure whatever this is out. What if I told you that I couldn't stop? That I wanted to keep the both of you in my life? You, you want me to kill this kid? This young boy is what you want? Do you think that he's gonna be better for you than me? Go ahead. You go right on ahead. You go with him and you you don't turn around. You don't look back. But if you want to continue to be pleasing in God's sight, Then you're gonna have to get yourself right. You're gonna have to repent and you have to turn away from your wicked ways. So, excuse me. I 
I gotta go to bed. I gotta work in the morning. all the time. If you're gonna keep kissing me like that, we're gonna have to go to the bathroom and lay the pipe laying plumber again. <coughs> you know what I mean? Like we did in the movie door. Right. You know? Yeah. <sighs> mm -hmm. did it now. JC. I didn't actually come here to get a quickie mm. or laugh at your jokes. Besides, I know that you heard it in my voice with the message that I left for you. I'm gonna just cut straight to the point. Honestly, JC, in my 33 years of living, I've never had a man like, Listen, listen, come on, Queen. Say me that, oh, I've never had a man like you before. It's so cliche and overdone. Come on now. Especially in the same breath that you're trying to dump me in. You know, that's more done up than white girls falling in scary movies. <laughs> Will you stop, JC? I, I just need you to be serious for one moment. Like, can you just give me a few moments? Just be serious. What do I need to be so serious about? So you can go ahead and live with your husband and with his cheating ass? Who was the one who helped you do your postpartum depression? Who was the one who won you your life back? But I guess you won't remember all that. I mean, you did. You did, JC, and I give you that. But honestly, it's like deep down inside, I'm afraid, I'm confused. I'm probably a little messed up in the head. But despite all of that, the decision that I made today is solely on me. Nobody else had nothing to do with that. <sighs> JC, yeah, you did find me and caught me at a time that I needed you the most. And it was what I needed at that time, in that moment. A new friend and a new confidant. And a new lover, right? That's why I'm thinking you forget. And from a new lover. Yeah, because see, I thought it was more than a few nights of empty glasses of Merlot, half-finished blunts, all the passionate and unforgettable sex. I just need you to stop having flashbacks for a moment. Look, I'm trying to come at you in a way that I don't feel even more convicted than I already do. I know you don't care to hear this, but I need to give back right with God. I'm trying to go back to church. And despite everything that happened between us, me, I'm more spiritually and morally wrong. I know you also don't care to hear this, but the Bible says. Right. What? Come on, Queen. I believe in myself before I believe in Jesus. So I don't want to hear all that. All the messages and all the prophets. I done heard the stories before. You know, you really need to stop all that. I don't judge your God, so please don't start judging mine, okay? And I'm not judging your God. I'm not at all. But I forgot what we were here for. So, so please remind me. We here for your closure, right? Okay, well, you know, you already said it once. I don't need to hear you say it again. The truth is, I don't want us to stop being friends. I don't want us to stop hanging out. But the sex, that stops today. Oh, 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 oh. oh wait a minute. So, 
You want me to be your friend and stop having sex? So what you saying next I'm supposed to be the gay hairdresser? The best friend? Oh yes girl, you did that. Go ahead girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the hell no. I needed this laughter in my life right now. <laughs> That's not what I meant. So what do you mean? You don't need my loving anymore? So the two of you done, or are we done? 